OK, we're having a look now at the band facer. So this machine is the band facer. We've got a on switch here, the off switch there. The off switch also has a lock on it, so we need to twist to release. If we turn it on, we can also use the emergency stop. Here we've got a guard which can be closed down, it should be closed down to keep the working area that's exposed of the belt to a minimum. This part here is called the table. Here is the belt and we could see that earlier just moving around. Here we have a roller and a tensioner to tension the belt to keep the belt from slipping. If we now zoom in and we'll take a look at using the machine. I think we'll so if we move down to here and we can see here using the machine more closely. So you'll notice that there is a groove here on the bed and the groove here is about 10 centimeters away. If at all possible, keep your hands behind this groove. Certainly don't use small pieces of material. Ideally, you wouldn't use any pieces of material smaller than this. The main use for the band facer is acrylic, plastics and wood. In this case, a piece of MDF. So, when we're using the band facer, we always make sure we're wearing a pair of goggles. We keep the material flat on the bed. We never, if chamfering, never put the material that way to put a, an angle on there. Because if you put it that way, it will jam into there and then that will break the belt. So if you're trying to put an angle on there, so if we look at this, if we're trying to put a chamfer or an angle, we use it that way. Most of the time, the material will be flat on the bed. So if we... We can also use it for... rounding off shapes and... We can set this at 45 degrees and as I showed you earlier by setting this at 45 degrees here we can create mitre joints to make frames. So that is the band facer.